Landing a helicopter to a ship in bad weather is one of the most difficult tasks a pilot can undertake. I'm Yeyan Owen, I'm Deputy Vice-Chancellor here at the University, but I'm also a member of the School of Engineering. Imagine this ship on a windy day out at sea. It'll be rolling, pitching, heaving. The deck might be moving five, six metres. In addition, we've got the helicopter which will be coming into land onto the back of the ship. The helicopter itself will be moving around by the same sort of scale. So for the pilot to land this aircraft on that ship is a very difficult task. Warships have never been designed with a helicopter in mind other than to put the deck at the back of the ship, which is probably the worst place to put it. The helicopter is the, the most potent system on the ship, but if it can't take off, um, it can't be used. No ship has ever been aerodynamically designed and that's now what we're starting to do. We're looking ahead to the next generation of ships to say if the ship does have to have these tactical systems on board, are they in the right place? Are they the right shape? Can they be designed in such a way as they reduce the aerodynamic impact of the ship on the helicopter? So I've been working on this for about 12 years now. It's initially started with some um, some inquiries from the Ministry of Defence about flight simulation. Can we improve the reality of flight simulation for helicopters landing onto ships? So since then, we've worked with the Ministry of Defence, I've worked with colleagues at the University of Liverpool, I've had aerodynamic data from the National Research Council in Canada and from the Ministry of Defence. We've worked with BAE Systems and we've worked with flight simulation companies. On the way through the research, we've created a flight simulation environment to improve reality so when the pilot sits in the simulator and flies to that ship, it feels more realistic because the air is impacting on the helicopter in the way that it should do. The most fundamental findings we've had is the way that the unsteady airflow impacts on the helicopter. And the most significant finding we've produced from there then is how to redesign the ship so it is more benign, provides a more benign environment for the helicopter. So right now we are providing design guidance to the next generation of combat ships. 